Chief Justice Martha Kome has come out swinging in defense of the territorial integrity of the judiciary. This follows remarks made by President William Ruto yesterday that his development agenda was being derailed by corrupt judges and his intimation that he would ignore court orders that do not go the Ruto way. In an internal memo, Kome exhorted judges, judicial officers, and judiciary staff not to be cowed by the presidency and to continue to discharge their duties in line with the Constitution. Stating, and I quote, this recurring trend of discussing in public live matters in courts is a matter of great concern as it tends to threaten and intimidate judges and judicial officers to rule in a certain way in matters involving government policy. She goes on to state attacking judges and judicial officers who made a decision in the public undermine all the values of our constitutional order. The Chief Justice warning both in the memo and in a public statement as the Chair of the Judicial Service Commission that, and again I quote, where a citizen obtains a court order against the state and that court order is deliberately ignored or disobeyed by state officials, the right of access to justice is undermined because it fatally attacks the effectiveness of the legal system on which ordinary citizens rely to have their rights and legal duties enforced. And on the subject of corrupt judges, Kwame made clear that the J is not in receipt of a complaint from the Ruto administration on the sabotage of its development agenda, stating, and again I quote, declarations of corruption in public events and activities without corresponding procedural reporting mechanisms exposes an institution such as the judiciary to public suspicion and distrust. She did, however, state that she would seek concrete information and reports on the referenced acts of impunity and corruption so that they can be addressed comprehensively.